reference the page and we'll get a YouTube here. Okay, it easy like this. So I will go to it will short. Hello guys, welcome back to Join Coder. Today we continue the next episode. We upgrade our project dynamic menu in Laravel. In the previous video, I already create dynamic menu like this. It called from database, and we apply code like this. Yeah. If example, now if I want to have a new menu, I need to create a new record in a table here. Example. Okay. Now I add a new row. Right. And there's numbers one and we add emails we add email sale so I need to copy here and name here email and email create email sorry and I need to create a new folder and email and in folder I have a new file create email that let out php okay and let me copy data from here pass here create email and when I refresh here I will get a new menu from a database in here and when I click it need to call action from my controller so I need to add a route we need to add in route here yes we need to add in route here and add a new function is create email and it has again yes yes our menu it will working like this when we need to have a new menu or update a name here we just update in a table example here's I move I create create I update a name home yeah and then save when I refresh here we get create a home it's easy right if we just move in ours we just update in our table if we are fight into here but when you change the code here we need to provide all the time when we have a new function or we have a new view we don't want to do like this. We want to a short code or a security code. It's easy more than this. Okay, let's go. We need to create a new provider. We need to create a new provider to reflect this action. Mean we need we just have a view, but we don't need to provide data that are in here. We just provide in providers. Okay, so let's start to create providers okay I create by terminal I get PHP artisan mesh providers it is uh, provides a provider name is menus providers okay now I get success in here and I will check in here if we get provider like this and in providers what we need to do is in here in the register we need to provide our data to our view okay and let's start I will write view dot com dot composer and all my view I need to provide data so I put a star and I will create a function in here and I will receive view so I put the view name so we put the view here and 
what we need to return I will return you with data okay so we need to move our data into here into here we need to provide our data to our view okay so let me copy from here so I will return into here but before I use this I need to import use app slash sorry app slash model and model name okay so i will return like this and one more thing is i need to register this provider into configs in here i need to add okay let me copy this one is menu providers Okay. After this, I need to refresh to test my view. Okay, it's working here. But let me to go to delete all of this. I need to delete all. I just keep only my view like this. Okay, and let to refresh my project. Okay, it's have something wrong in here. Insert in here. Okay, need to put app model and data model. Refresh again. Yes, yes, it is wrong here. App to. Okay, now it's work like this. Mean. If we need to add a new function in here, example, now I need to create um, a YouTube. Yeah, like this. I need to put in the email too. So I need to create you. I need to create a view here. New view is dot PHP. Copy that in here into here. You should. Okay. And one more thing is I need to add in route. I need to add in route. You know about route here. Okay. Okay, add in here, you should. Okay, and I need to create a new item in the table here. New row, so, so row six. Okay, and the uh, number two menu in YouTube. And the name I put create YouTube. Okay, zero and six. And I put the name here is create YouTube and save. So, when I update it, just click here, refresh the page, I will get a YouTube here. Okay, it's easy like this. So, our code it will short because our menu we will load in provider in here. We just provide like this, and data it get from here. It's the same place it get from our model. Okay, okay. So now it's done. I hope you understand how to use a short code or remove our code that we need to load first time and we need to load we can move to create a new provider like this it's always provide our data into our projects okay thank you bye